artificial intelligence has revolutionized the way we work live and interact with technology so the two powerful search algorithms greedy search and beam search have played a significant role in shaping the ai landscape so let's understand first the what is greedy search now in natural language processing greedy search is a method used to find the most likely sequence of words or phrases in a given context and it works by making a locally optimal choice at each step hoping that these choices will lead to the global optimum so imagine you are writing a story and uh, you have just written the sentence the cat set on now you need to complete this sentence by choosing the most likely word to follow so the greedy search would select the most probable next word based on the given context without considering how the subsequent words might change the probability of the entire sentence for example the word the might be the most likely choice in this context but the following word the roof or the mat might be more fitting for this story so in natural language applications this process is automated using language models which predict the next word based on the previous context so the greedy search algorithm selects the word with the highest probability and the process is repeated for each subsequent word in the text while greedy search is simple and computational efficient it has some limitations like it does not take into account the possible effects of future words which can lead to suboptimal results especially when dealing with longer sequences so in such cases more sophisticated search algorithms like beam search are used to improve the quality of generated sequence so to summarize as we can say that greedy search in natural language processing is a method that makes the locally optimal choice at each step selecting the most likely word or phrase given the previous context and it is simple and computational efficient algorithm but it can lead to suboptimal results in some cases next comes the beam search now this beam search in a search algorithm used in natural language processing to find the most likely sequence of words or phrases in a given context so it works by maintaining a set of top k most likely sequences at each step called the beam and expand each sequence by adding the most likely next word so continuing with the previous example of completing a sentence beam search would maintain a set of top k most likely completions for the given context so the cat set on now at each step it would consider the most likely next word for each of the k sequences and add the resulting new sequence to a new set and this process is repeated and the beam size is reduced until a complete sentence is generated so here say we an example we take k is equals to 3 so the algorithm would maintain a beam of three most likely completions at each step for instance the first iteration might result in the following set of completions the mat the chair the table and at the next step the algorithm would consider the most likely next words for each of these three sequences and the process would be repeated so this way beam search considers multiple candidate sequences simultaneously ensuring that the most likely combination of word is selected at each step so the main advantage of beam search over greedy search is that it considers the possible effect of future words which can help avoid local optima and improve the overall quality of the generated sequence however beam search is computationally more expensive than greedy search because it maintains a set of sequences instead of a single sequence at each step so to summarize this we can say beam search is a search algorithm used in natural language processing to find the most likely sequence of words or phrases in a given context and it maintains a set of the top k most likely sequences at each step called the beam and expands each sequence by adding the most likely next word so this beam search considers the possible effect of future words and can produce better results than greedy search but it also requires more computational resources thank you